What is going on guys? It is CW Gaming and I am back with a brand new episode of the NCAA 14 Rebuild. And in today's episode, we're going to kick it off with the North Carolina Tar Heels. And before we start, I just want to give a huge shout out to College Football Revamped. As you can see, I am using their mod and I will link that in the description. And they did a tremendous job of explaining how to download that. They made it very simple. And they've honestly brought this game back to light. And it's been amazing to see what all is in the game now. And you will see that throughout this video. They have updated bowl games and logos and different things like that. So it's going to be a really fun time to experiment and see what we can do in this game now. And so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and kick this off with the preseason of year number one. But before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the roster to see what we are working with. So at the QB position, we do have Sam Howell. He's a sophomore, 92 overall. He's going to be the main guy that we rebuild around and put pieces uh, together with. He's going to be the main guy that we that we use. We also have Jake Reuter and Criswell. Uh, these are some guys that we they're valuable options, and uh, I'm fine with that. But Howell is going to be our guy. We have Michael Carter, running back, Javante Williams, Henderson, Brooks, Green, and Jones. So these are the guys that we'll be using at running back. Uh, we'll try to recruit a couple running backs, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, on to the receivers. We have a 90 and an 87 and 85. And then down below, there are freshmen that I think that we can develop into something pretty good. So receivers, we should be fine. We have depth. And tight end, we have depth as well. We'll take a better overall, but at the end of the day, we have freshmen that are 73 overall, and we should be able to develop them pretty well. Uh, taking a look at our offensive line, we have a sophomore that's a 79. We have another sophomore, a junior that's an 82, and a freshman under him that's a 73. And then a junior, another junior, and a sophomore, and a junior at tackle. So I think our offensive line is fine. We're going to lose a lot after this year, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at scouting. Uh, these are the guys that we added to our board at preseason, and we're going to go ahead and scout them out, kind of see what we're working with. We're looking for gems and busts, that way we can kind of free some stuff up and see who we need to go after. And Nate Hurst, a quarterback, QB that we're looking at, uh, we'll see him later on, but we're just kind of scouting around. And I want to focus on our defense. Our defense is definitely the weaker link as we have a bust there on that defensive tackle. Our defense is definitely, there's another bust in Thomas Bellamy. And can we get one more? Okay, we don't. But there's a gym with our center. But I definitely think our defense is the weakest link. Uh, and so we're going to focus on our defense throughout this rebuild. Because I found that defense really helps uh, stop big moments in the sim. And so defense is what we'll focus on because that is the weaker link in the team. So as we're scouting and adding to our board, we are looking for defense. So in week, in week number one of year number one, we have South Carolina uh, to start off the year. But I'm excited about this season. And we're going to go ahead and jump into the end of the year. So when we come back, it will be the end of year number one. So we are back, and you can kind of see a recruiting board shaping up here. And we are the Coach of the Year finalists, and we have some a finalist for the Heisman, and we have some other good accolades there. And you do see 12-0, and 0, we finished number one in the country against Clemson, and I'm shocked. I really am. I wasn't expecting year number one to go like this. I thought we would be good in a weaker ACC conference, Without Clemson, we don't have to play Clemson. They're not in our division. But certainly I did think that it would be harder for us. And you do see our schedule. It was a little weaker on the non-conference. But our conference games, we did win pretty well. It was pretty simple and pretty easy. The only ranked team we played was Boston College, and we whooped them. And so I think Clemson will be a challenge. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stats. Sam Howell. Played pretty well, 2,900 yards with 31 touchdowns and four interceptions. 
So it's not bad. That's actually really good. 31 touchdowns and only four interceptions. So Sam Howell played great. Michael Carter, 963 yards with 13 touchdowns and the backup running back with seven touchdowns. In a receiving core, we only had one guy go over 1,000 yards. Uh, but we had nine touchdowns for Brown and seven for Watson. So it's not terrible. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Our defense, our defensive stats, our tackles, our leading tackler was 69. And it kind of drops off from there. So our defense, again, is our weaker link, uh, which could come back to bite us. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the ACC championship against Clemson. This is your number one. And if you watch the Virginia Tech rebuild, you know Clemson is our kryptonite. They beat us every time and knock us out of the national championship. And so we're going to try and see what we can do here against Clemson. And we're going to sim as much as possible, but I do want to play a little bit to kind of see uh, the new mod and the gameplay. The gameplay is very crisp uh, with this new mod. And so we're going to go ahead and sim. The first quarter was 0-0, zero zero, which is something that you really wouldn't expect. But both teams are waking up. They're shaking off the nervous jitters. And we go up 14-10 to 10 at halftime. So it was very strange to see a 14-10 to 10 game. Now normally it's pretty high scoring by now. But we get it back, and it is 17-10. to 10. It's 20-10 to 10 now. At the end of the third, we score again. Clemson does score right at the end there. So seven minutes left, and we are up by 10. Uh, we're going to keep Simmon, and Clemson will go ahead and score, and we are only up by three. So we're going to take control, uh, and Sam Howell, he's going to take the read. He's going to bounce off a tackler, go around the block, and get a pretty nice gain. So um, I wanted to see how Sam Howell plays. Uh, he played a pretty good season. And brought us to the number one. So we're going to go ahead and get some gameplay in here with three minutes to go. And we're going to try and ice this game and seal it for our first ACC championship. So we're running the ball. Running the ball is pretty simple right now. Carter is cutting them up. Uh, he's getting some pretty good blocks. But we're going to risk our luck and go with a pass and a nice curl route from Brown. He pushes forward for the first down. So back to Williams. And he's going to go straight up for nine yards. And on third and one, defender bites, and we hand the ball off to Carter, who's down to the one-yard line. So we give it back to Carter, and he dives in into the end zone. And that was pretty much it. After that, it iced the game. We get the ball back, and we're going to go ahead and kneel down the ball to win the game. I don't know why our offensive lineman is gator chomping right now, but... Uh, we go ahead and defeat Clemson. We upset them. Even though we were the number one team, I do think they were better than us. And we showed them why we needed to be here and how good Sam Howe actually is. And so we go ahead and take our first ACC championship of the episode. So we're back, and you do see our ACC championship. And I want to go ahead and show you some of these bowl games. We do have the Pinstripe Bowl. That's new. And we're going to look at kind of who is where, and I'm going to show you these new bowl games that are added into the game with this mod. Uh, the Cheez-It Bowl is new, and there's some interesting teams on here playing each other. Uh, Notre Dame had one of the small games, which was kind of weird <laughs> to see. Uh, Georgia and App State in the Liberty Bowl. That one's definitely interesting to me. Uh, Ole Miss in the Peach Bowl against Clemson, so that's where Clemson ended up. 7-2 in conference. And number 10 overall. So the Outback Bowl, the Citrus Bowl, and the Rose Bowl, that'll be an interesting game. Uh, and the Fiesta Bowl, which is Washington and Texas, that'll be interesting. Uh, the Cotton Bowl. So there's some interesting bowl games and you do see we are playing Florida in the national championship with the updated logo. It looks pretty good. Um, so if all stays the same with Florida, we will go ahead and play them in the national championship. So that's exactly what happens. Florida finishes 12-1 in the SEC. They are number two. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. You see Florida's new uniforms updated. 
And it is a rain game. I haven't seen that in a while. National championship game outdoors in the rain. So this will be interesting. Florida is definitely a very good football team. And they are up 7-0 early uh, in the SEC. This will show us how good we are. Florida goes up 14-0 in the first quarter. So we're not able to do anything with the ball. There's five and a half minutes roughly to go in the second. And Florida is going to keep the ball. And I'm interested to see how this works. We're holding them pretty good right now. Uh, defense slipped up with 14 points, but we do cut it down a little bit. 14 to 3. And this is going to be a crucial second half. Uh, Florida goes down and does score. So 21 to 3. It's not looking pretty good for us right now. We do score a touchdown, but without another stop, I'm not sure how this is going to go. And we do not get another stop. It's 28 to 10. Uh, we're going to jump in and just kind of see what we can do. We throw the screen, and the defender is not able to tackle our running back. Michael Carter wants that dub so bad. And it's 28 to 18. We're down by 10. We're going to throw a slant route here and do another read. But Flores' defense is pretty good, and they are holding us pretty well. Uh, there's really not much we can do at this point. We're, we are down by 10. Um, and with a score here, we might be able to to do something with it. So we're gonna hold. We're gonna run the ball in. Carter does score, and we need our defense to make a stop, which they do. But I'm stupid, and I threw this ball with direction, and it didn't go where I wanted it to, and that pretty much led to in the game. So I probably should have simmed uh, to see what the sim could do, but. With it being our first national championship, I thought maybe I could take control and see what we could do. And I did throw an interception that cost us the game. So, yes, probably shouldn't have done that, and I do suck at this game. But we did make it to the national championship, uh, and we lost in the last second. So it was better than SEC school uh, beating us very bad. So I am happy with the results. Year number one, it only should look up from here. So we look at recruiting. Uh, in the off season, uh, we didn't have much leave, so I didn't put that in. But we move on to signing day. We did grab a couple of guys. I'm excited about Brad Woods, uh, that 77 overall center. Uh, he's going to be a pretty good addition to the offensive line. And you do see we signed a number 16 overall class in the nation with one five star. So I'm pretty happy with that. Our five star was an athlete. And I'm okay with it with a 16th ranked class. Um, hopefully, we can get some of those guys starting, and we'll be able to um, build around this Sam Howell 99 overall as a junior now. So he went from a 92 to a 99. Our running backs a 96, receivers a 95, and we have some. Our whole offensive line got upgraded to a 90. So our offense should be pretty stacked at this point. Uh, and heading into year two, we go straight into the board, and we see an athlete, five-star, wants us. Two of them do. Two five-star athletes, and yes, my recruiting is a little weird. I see who's interested in us first, and then I kind of go down the list and pick the positions that we need. And I, I am just grabbing everybody, but I go back and scout, and it's a long process that I don't show, but this is kind of what it looks like at first. It does seem random, but it is not, I promise. Uh, we're looking at who's interested in us, and honestly, we are, again, looking at defense. Um, so we're looking to upgrade our offensive line because a lot of them did graduate, and we need some depth. But at the end of the day, defense is where we're looking, so we're going to grab those guys that are tackles, safeties, middle linebackers, and we're going to go scout them, see who is good enough, and then we will move on from there. So that's kind of the recruiting, how I do it. I just don't show it all. So we are in year number two, and we're going to go ahead and sim this season, and I will pick back up when we are done and we are back with the end of year two. So we're back with year number two, and you do see our recruiting. Uh, we got some pretty good guys there. We have a finalist for the Heisman, which is pretty good, back-to-back -back seasons with Heisman candidate. And we're going to go ahead and check out where we are. And we are back 11-1 and one this year. 
and we are playing Clemson once again. So taking a look at our schedule, uh, we only lost to one team, and it was Eastern Carolina. We barely lost that game, but we beat Notre Dame and 12th ranked Virginia Tech. So it was a little strange, <laughs> strange season, but um, we are taking on Clemson in the championship once again. Sam Howell, 32 touchdowns, four interceptions with 2,700 yards. So pretty much the same stat line he put up last year. I'm pretty sure that was like the same. And a running back, 16 touchdowns. That's a very good performance. And 14 touchdowns from our receiver there. So our offense absolutely exploded this season. Our defense fell off just a little bit. We only had 66 tackles, and then it drops off from there. So, again, weaker defense. Uh, we are going to go ahead and jump into year number two, ACC Championship. We are 1-0 and against Clemson so far. So we're going to try and get lucky once again. So we're going to go ahead and sim away. Clemson jumps on us early 7-0, to but we score once again to tie it. And we're battling a little bit. It looks pretty good so far. And Clemson scores to go up 14-7. to So we sim again. We tie it at 14. Clemson goes right back and scores again, and they score again. Uh, it's not looking good for us right now. They score once again before halftime. So we're down 35-14. to 14. And 42 to 14 it is not looking good. Uh, we do score, but the damage is probably done. Uh, we need to get on our horse and score again, which we do. It's it's very doable, depending on what Clemson does here. They score a field goal, so it's going to be tough. So we're going to need to make some big plays and some quick plays. Uh, it's going to be tough to score that many points in four minutes. But we're going to throw one down the field. Sam Howell connects with Brown, and he goes into the end zone for a 62-yard touchdown. But it doesn't help very much when Clemson scores again. Howell chunks this one once again to the end zone, and it is caught by Brown. The exact same play, and our offense is fighting. Uh, we hold him to a field goal. Brown once again with a nice catch, dives into the end zone, and we fought hard to the end. Uh, our offense fought hard. We scored pretty quick, but our defense just couldn't hold them up. Trevor Lawrence kneels the ball down in his last season as a Clemson Tiger, and they beat us in the ACC Championship. And this hurts, man, to see, because we could have went back to the National Championship again this year. We only had one loss, and we were ranked number three. So it was very possible. Uh, Clemson just knocks us off, and we weren't able to get back. So it is tough, but we are playing in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl against Oregon. Uh, we finished 8-1 in conference, and they finished 7-2 in the Pac-12. So it's going to be an interesting game, and we're going to go ahead and jump into it and see if we can get a bowl game win. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sim this game out and see if we can pick up a bowl game. We have an ACC championship under our belt. Uh, we should have had a national championship but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, so hopefully we can get a bowl game win. And we are up 10-7 on Oregon, and they score to make it 14-10. And we go down. Sam Howell. Sam Howell leads the charge. And it's a shootout right now. We are scoring pretty quick, and so are they. Uh, defense holding out in the third quarter now. We go down 31-21. And now it's 38 to 21, so our offense is showing up. We're up by 10 in the fourth. We score once again, and that's going to be probably enough. We're up by 10 with a minute and a half, and it, it was enough. Sam Howell leads the charge, and we're going to kneel this football down and go ahead and take our year number two bowl game in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl against Oregon.
All right, so we're back, and you see our Fiesta Bowl trophy there. Uh, that's new. This is a new bowl game added into this game with the mod. So it is cool to see their new trophy. Um, and we do go ahead and take the bowl game in your number two. So it wasn't a complete loss losing in the ACC championship. We did get a pretty good bowl game. And it is on to signing day. And we do sign a 76 overall guard to top off the number one class in the nation. So you do see we signed three five stars and 12 four stars and eight three stars for a total of 23 signees and the number one class in the nation. So you can see who we signed there. If you want to pause and you can. Uh, so we signed the number one class and we are sitting good. We're our features looking bright. And your number three, we're going to go ahead and set up the recruiting board once again. Um, but we'll take a look at the roster to see where we are. Sam Howell, 99, once again for a senior year. He came back. Uh, we do have Rudder. Uh, our quarterback from year number one transferred. Uh, so we did have to replace him. Our running backs are a little weaker this year. We did grab a 80 overall fullback, and we've developed him. Our receivers aren't looking terrible. Uh, we, we did have a lot graduate. We still have Brown. Uh, our tight end's looking good. Our offensive line is looking stacked. Uh, we got 97. We have some All-Americans on our offensive line now. Uh, we could use a little depth at center and tackle. Uh, which we will look at in recruiting this year. But for the most part, we are still looking at defense. Our defense messed us up against Clemson last year. So maybe maybe this number one class will help us um, on our defense. So the beginning of year number three, we are ranked number two. And we're going to go ahead and sim it out and see where we are. So at the end of year number three, again, Coach of the Year finalist with 10 consecutive wins and a finalist for the Heisman. Number one, 12-0 once again. And we have a chance for redemption on Clemson. They will not knock us out this year, but we're going to sim this one to prove the sim and to prove how good our team is. And we do win against Clemson and the sim. So we're back for our second ACC championship. And they're all against Clemson, so maybe we should move away from the ACC after a while. Uh, Clemson is giving me trouble. But we did have Sam Howell with a Maxwell Award, the Davey O'Brien Award, the John Mackey Award. Uh, we've got some other guys winning awards. And that just goes to show uh, how Mac Brown wins Coach of the Year. So I believe that was the second or third Coach of the Year uh, we've won with Mac Brown and that leads us to number one overall we are playing Ole Miss in the national championship so we're back with an ACC team they beat us last time in the national championship but hopefully at the you know year number three we should be able to take care of them we do have 99 overall Sam Howe So we're going to go ahead and jump into the sim. Uh, I am pretty nervous about this game. Uh, this is Sam Howell's last game, so I'm not sure uh, how we will do after this year. Uh, I do believe we've set this team up for a great future, but we need to cash in when we can. And old, that's exactly what Ole Miss does with a 7-0 lead. And our defense is holding strong. We just need our offense to wake up a little bit. They didn't come alive in that first quarter. Uh, still down 7-0. Ole Miss drives and punts. It's looking interesting. We finally score towards the end of the half, and so do they. 14-7. We're driving. Couldn't make anything out of that. And we'll go ahead and go to the third quarter. It's a low-scoring game. I didn't really expect Ole Miss and a team from the ACC to be 14 to 14 in the third quarter. But we go up 21 to 14 at the end of the third. And here we go, the final test. We're going to go ahead and sim to the end of the game. We go up 28 to 14. Ole Miss needs to score. They can't. But we do 35 to 14 with two minutes to go. They score. 
21 to 35, and that's going to do it. We scored two crucial times in a row, and that was too much for Ole Miss, and we finally did it. Took year number three, and we finally were able to get Sam Howell and Mac Brown and North Carolina a national championship. So you do see there, college football playoff national champion. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stats, the final year three stats. 43 touchdowns, 3,700 yards. Sam Howe played out of his mind this year. Uh, Henderson and Green almost had 1,000-yard seasons. Morales with 18 touchdowns as a receiver. Uh, he was our tight end this year, and he won an award. And so our offense played very well, very explosive. And our defense had a much better season. 93 tackles, 74 tackles, so I was happy with that. And overall, our defense played very well. We recruited pretty well on the defensive side of the ball, and we were able to see results from that. And honestly, we would go a couple more seasons, but I think we've done what we needed to do. Two ACC championship wins, three appearances, we won the Fiesta Bowl and National Championship, and we did sign a number one class, and there is much more to come from this North Carolina team, but I think uh, to keep this short and simple three seasons, we did exactly what we needed to do, and I'm happy with the results that we put out. So, I will be back with another rebuild episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed this North Carolina rebuild, and I will see you guys in the next episode.